a black cat, not having a borrowed item at the wedding, and mirrors, according to Polish superstitions, in some circumstances can bring misfortune. On the other hand, carp's case, a horseshoe or a chimney sweep can bring luck. Ready to explore Polish superstitions? Cześć, cześć, I'm Marcin, let's discover Poland in the Polish way. Most superstitions are related to the belief that certain events can bring you misfortune. For example, breaking a mirror guarantees you 7 years of bad luck, or according to some, as many years as there are pieces of the broken mirror. You should also be careful how you get out of the bed. Putting your left foot on the ground first secures misfortune for the entire day. In Polish we also have a saying, wstał lewą nogą, which we use when someone is in the bad mood that day. You should also not spill salt, because spilled salt foretells a dispute at home. You shouldn't greet someone across a threshold. People really don't like that, so either make it a choose your side. Are you in the door or are you out of the door when you shake hands and say goodbye? But is it really such a huge don't in Poland? I will tell you about it at the end of this video. Women shouldn't put their purses on the ground, because all their money will run away. Unmarried women shouldn't sit at the corner of the table, because it means they won't find a husband. A child's hair should not be cut within the first year of birth, as it brings bad luck. And killing a spider brings bad luck to the entire house. And the presence of raven near the house can foretell death. You probably associate bad luck and misfortune with Friday the 13th. It is also the case in Poland. What's more, according to Polish saying, you shouldn't start anything new on any Friday, because at the same goes. Piątek, zły początek. Although currently Friday is more treated as the beginning of the weekend, which is rather something good. Piątek, piek, 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 piek. After all, it's the same in the West. Everyone surely hums this hit every week. It's Friday, Friday. Keep watching, because superstitions related to weddings for sure will surprise you. If you ever get an invitation to a Polish wedding, don't hesitate. Accept it right away. I'm almost sure it could be the best party in your life. As a guest, you only need to prepare some cash in an envelope, a stomach ready for a huge amount of food, and a hat for Bimberek from the father-in-law. If you are a woman, you shouldn't dress in white, because this is the color reserved for the bride, nor in black, because this color is worn to funerals. But the bride doesn't have it easy. First, to avoid misfortune, the wedding should take place in a month that has R in its Polish name. For example, Marzec, Czerwiec, Sierpień, Wrzesień, Październik, Grudzień. What's more, when going to the wedding, the bride should have something borrowed to ensure the goodwill of the groom's family and luck, something blue to ensure her future husband's fidelity, something old to emphasize attachment to the family. Additionally, having something old is supposed to prevent the breakdown of family ties and symbolize the connection of subsequent generations. Something new as a symbol of entering a new path of life. The bride should also not show herself to her future husband in her wedding dress before the wedding. And if the dress gets torn or has a hole before the wedding, it cannot be sewn. Using needles and treat can bring bad luck. There are a few more wedding traditions at Polish weddings. If you want to hear about them, let me know in the comments. A black cat as a symbol of some kind of misfortune or luck appears in various beliefs around the world. In Poland, a black cat itself is not unlucky. To bring bad luck, it must cross your path, no matter which side of the road it comes from. Superstitions aren't just about bad luck. Keep watching to find out about Polish neutral superstitions. If your right hand itches, it means you will be greeting someone. If your left, it means you will receive money. And if your nose itching, it means you will be drinking. And if you sneeze twice, you will also be drinking. By the way, when someone sneezes, as God bless you, in Poland we say Nazdrow, which is also what we say as cheers when raising a toast. If cutlery falls from the table, it means the guests will soon arrive. Hungry guests. A spoon? A woman will come. A fork? A man will visit. But superstitions can also foretell something positive. Keep watching to find out what can bring you luck. Positive superstitions. Finding a four-leaf clover is known not only in Poland, just like a fact that horseshoe will bring luck. But you might not know that putting money under the Christmas tablecloth or the scales of a carp eaten at Christmas Eve dinner put in your wallet will ensure you money. To a new wallet you can also put grosik for luck. And when you meet a chimney sweep, you should grab a button to bring you luck. If you find a coin orzełkiem do góry on the street, definitely pick it up. It will also bring you luck. If a child is born w czepku, meaning born in an unbroken amniotic sack, it brings, surprise, luck. We also have a saying w czepku urodzony, which means a person who has a lot of luck. You definitely also want to know superstitions that tell you how to protect yourself from misfortune. You can knock on unpainted wood. Touching a tree can discharge negative energy into 
into the ground. A red ribbon also protects against curses and misfortune. It attracts all the bad forces onto itself. Similarly, hanging garlic in the house wards off evil spirits. If a cat crosses your path, take a three steps back and spit three times over your left shoulder. Better safe than sorry. And now, special segment. Slavic mythology almost doesn't exist in pop culture unlike Norse or Roman, and besides probably a Witcher series and a few exceptional cases which function not only strictly within Slavic beliefs, it's rather unpopular. But there are some interesting superstitions related to Slavic spirits to be aware of, although they are rather forgotten. The first example is the custom, still somewhat present in kindergartens, of drawing Majana. Majana was a goddess of winter. Her symbolic drawing on the first day of calendar spring was meant to symbolize farewell to winter and was supposed to ensure good crops and full bowls of food in the coming year. When people are doing too well, something bad must always happen. In Slavic beliefs, <laughs> an evil demon, the personification of misfortune and bad luck, was responsible for these bad things. Sayings such as the following are still used today. Licho nie śpi. Niech go licho. Gdzieś go licho nie śpi. You shouldn't do any work in the field at noon. Then, in the fields you can encounter Pałdnicza. who hunts such people. Pałdnica became the source of the woman who just before, during or shortly after their wedding. They possessed the riddles to those they met in the field. And the fate of these people depend on the answer. But do Poles really believe in all these things? Mm, not really, the beliefs in these superstitions has faded and some are kept only out of nostalgia. Most of these superstitions we learned from Babcia and a significant part of these superstitions is somewhat funny. Nobody seriously treats the idea that if you greet someone across the threshold, something incredibly will magically happen and bad forces will bring you misfortune. So, you know. Don't shake hands or say goodbye over the threshold like in a doorway. The superstitions I presented here are examples known in the southern part of Poland. This is where I lived since I was born. I know that Poles also watch this channel, so please let me know which superstitions I missed or which are the most popular in the place where you live. And if you are considering a trip to Poland, be sure to check out these videos. Subscribe for more!